Back in the early days of the New Testament, John the Baptist and some of his friends were baptizing people in the River Jordan. In those days, baptism was so that people could change their lives, so that they could repent and start doing good things. It's kind of like washing your hands. The dirt from your hands would flow down the water. Except baptism is for the spirit. Our sins and our failures is what's washed away so that we can start again. So John was baptizing all day, and then Jesus came and said, John, it's time to baptize me. Of course, John looked at him and said, but you're God, you don't have any sins. But Jesus said, let's do this anyway. So Jesus went into the waters and was baptized. And when Jesus went into the waters, something incredible happened. The skies opened up, and the Father spoke, saying, This is my beloved Son. And the Holy Spirit came down like a dove and descended upon Jesus, showing everyone that he is indeed the anointed of God. And of course, Jesus in the water stood there. So we got to see the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our one God, all three at the same time. Now, when the world recognized this, the waters themselves were changed. They couldn't stay the same as before. Because Jesus, when he entered into the waters, instead of the waters cleaning him, he cleaned them. He changed the world so that it would be new and fresh and belong to him once more. So today, I'm coming to your school to remember this feast and also to ask God to bless this water. In front of me, I have a large basin of water and a whole bunch of water bottles as well, so that each of you can take some water home with you. And I'm going to ask God to touch this water much like he did back in the day when he was baptized. I'm going to ask the Father to touch this water and you'll see, I'll take some candles, and I'll put it into the water. Then, I'll ask the Holy Spirit to bless this water, and I'll blow on the water. But of course, I'll be wearing a mask in real life, so that I don't accidentally, well, blow into your water and spread COVID. And the third thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to dip a cross into the water so that we can remember how Jesus himself was in the water. After the water is blessed, we'll send some to each of your rooms, where you'll get a little cup of water which you can drink in order to bless yourself. And we'll also give you a bottle of water which you can take home and all of your family can drink it as well. And finally, I'm going to come around to each of your classrooms and bless them. I'll take my water sprinkler and I'll sprinkle some water and ask God to bless your classroom so that you can learn well and know that he is good and that he loves you. I want to thank all of you for being so attentive and for letting me teach you about the baptism of Christ. It's a feast that we call Theophany because we understand that we can see or hear the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our one God in three persons, the Holy Trinity. May God bless you all, and let's bless this water.